Well, I think the, the biggest thing happening in the last month and this next month is our, uh, our sub GRT tax increase vote. And uh, we it's been partially approved as part of the budget, uh, but then the actual vote on the ordinance is not until next month. Uh, but, you know, basically the county government is kind of swimming in money. We have lots of money. We don't need any tax increases. So I would say that uh, it, it's kind of a silly vote and, and certainly uh, I, I put some numbers in the paper in, in an article that uh, you published in the in the Daily Post, uh, at least online, published it online. And basic numbers are, with the tax increase, we'll have $66 million this year, and without it, we'll have $60 million. And that's left over at the end of the year. So that's a, that's a healthy surplus. And uh, some of that is allocated for things, but most of it is just uh, surplus cash for the, for the government to use. So uh, I don't think we need the tax increase at all. Uh, it is some kind of a thing where they're anticipating future increases in expenses and, and maybe shortfalls of, of, of funding from the laboratory, but I don't think it's actually um, something you take care of now when it's probably three years away or two years away or whatever, 2025 or 2026. Uh, we, don't, we don't really need to raise taxes now. And if it ever actually comes to pass because the lab has to do their planning and, and uh, we don't really control what happens in Washington. so. I think we should just wait to see how things happen.